Creating guitar solos from scratch can be a daunting prospect for a lot of guitarists, even those that have been playing for a while. It's important to remember that just like your strumming or picking technique, improvising is a skill that must be gradually improved over time. Accepting the fact that you won't necessarily create blistering solos straight away will allow you to take pressure off of yourself and really enjoy the process of improving your playing. This is a chord chart of the Grey 3 piece download, which you'll be expected to improvise over. It starts with an E minor chord, which means you should use an E minor scale of one type or another. The best choice is probably E minor pentatonic scale. The minor pentatonic scale is the most common scale in guitar music. Some players go their whole lives without using any other scale. The E minor pentatonic scale looks and sounds like this. When you first start improvising, remember you're not trying to win any awards for the greatest solo ever created. So start with simple licks like the one I'm about to play. It doesn't use any techniques like hammer-ons and pull-offs and is a good way to get started. Another thing to remember is that you don't have to change notes all the time. Many great solos use repeated notes. This next example shows you how you can play repeated notes in different rhythms to add interest to your improvisations. Be sure to try your own licks over the chord progression. Next month we'll look at improvisation in a little more detail. Remember that you can get full tab and audio for download from totalguitar.co.uk and you can also download a free copy of the syllabus from rockschool.co.uk.